now. But now let's uh, take you uh, across right to uh, Bonchari, where vote counting uh, in that constituency uh, is at the Tulling Centre. It was temporarily halted earlier in the afternoon today. Five ballot boxes from South Mugirango constituency were discovered at the centre. Police, of course, swiftly uh, moving in and securing those ballot boxes and tallying resuming a little later on. Let's hear in on uh, how that uh, panned out. In the turn of events, both tallying at Itirio Boys High School, the Bonchari Constituency Tallying Center was disrupted after discovery of ballot boxes from the neighboring South Mogirango constituency at the center. After tallying almost half of the votes cast, the largely peaceful election turns chaotic after five ballot boxes from South Mogirango were found in this particular tallying center. The vote tallying process was temporarily stopped after agents from different candidates read the mischief as the ballot boxes were not sealed. As things stand now, the unofficial results, I'm the winner. I'm wondering if I'm not being declared and issued a certificate in accordance with the law. Uh, it's not understood why papers are being delivered after 24 hours after they've been cast, if they were cast at all. Omar is not so far. And another interesting thing is how boxes from other constituencies are finding way into this tallying center that don't belong to this constituency. We condemn that uh, incident. We don't understand why it's happening. This is a very unfortunate incident that uh, we don't condone. We're looking forward to a fair, credible and free election for the constituency. However, police manning the center diffused the tension after securing the ballot boxes. Then tallying of the votes resumed. Earlier, lawyer Cliff Ombeta on his Twitter handle considered defeat in the Bonchari parliamentary race. Ombeta posted, quote, Bonchari had a different vision from mine, grateful for the run and the experience. Perhaps next time we may have the same view, end of quote. Benson Ruba reporting for Prime Edition.